Hi guys, it's Miss Heather. And this activity we are going to do, it's called Rain Play Your Own Way. So this is the way that I'm going to do it. You can do it however you'd like at home. Um, here's some ideas for you to do Rain Play Your Own Way. So the first thing we can do is um, for younger babies that aren't supporting their head all the way yet or are just beginning to support their head, we can do tummy time with um, bubble wrap. You can put it on a tray, you can put it on the floor, have them lay on their tummies on a bobby pillow or if they're supporting their heads on their own you can have them just um, lay on the floor and put this in front of them and you can let them pop the bubble wrap and it sounds kind of like rain when it hits the you know the ground or when it hits um, the roof we have a metal roof at my house so when it hits our roof it sounds kind of like that when the rain hits and then for your older babies that are a little bit older and you want something for them to do as well you can have them stand up and you can have them um, stomp on it and they can make different noises with the popping of the, the um, bubble wrap and it makes bigger noises for rain. So you can have them do that or you can even have them walk across it. You can have them roll across it. You can have them kind of just do it however they are comfortable and what their skill level is. So then for the rain part of the activity as well you can take a container which I took my container and so for younger babies again you can use a tray and you can put a little bit of water on the tray for them and kind of just let them first explore it on their own let them kind of move it around with their hands and for older babies that are sitting up or are just you know you're looking for something for them to do as well you can do a bigger container like a Rubbermaid container which we had in our classroom and you fill it with water and you can have them sit at the high chair, you can have them sit on the floor. You know, if they're going to sit on the floor, have a towel kind of near them just for the water play. And then we also add some of our um, ducks and our toys from our classroom. And you can do this for the younger babies as well. Add some of the toys from the classroom. You know, or your house if you have bath toys. Bath toys are great for this activity. And just let them, you know, play around, move the animals around like they're in the rainstorm on the tray, on the activity. You can even have them fill and empty this water container and you can have them pour it into the container and let them scoop and report it. So for this one, for the core, which is the child observation record that we do at Heartfelt, you can have, it'll hit your fine motor skills, which are your, you know, your um, small motor, your fingers, your hands, then your gross motor, which are your bigger, like your bigger skills, which are your legs, your big arm movements, all of your movements. Um, it also hits science, which you're playing with natural materials, which the water is a natural material. And you can use sticks, you can use whatever you have at home um, to do this as well, playing with natural materials in the classroom or at home, like we're doing. And then please also remember to take pictures for us and send them in to us, just of your own way that you did the rain play. And then we hope to see you next week for our next activity.